Hello and welcome to another episode of Paddle Face Off. It's been quite some time since I reviewed the Pippa's Paddle's Humongous Distortion, but uh, it has a hyper EQ section. So why not compare it to an original Boss HM3? Since the humongous distortion has a dedicated hyper mode, it was natural to me to compare it to the original Boss HM3. If you're interested in the other modes of the humongous distortion and its, well, overall sound, be sure to check my in-depth review of this pedal. So for comparison's sakes, we do have a blend controller that I won't use, we do have some internal stuff that I won't use, uh, what we do have is a gain level and here we have a 2-band EQ and here we have a 3-band EQ. And I'm not really sure but I think the high band is split between those two. We do find out in the EQ curves. So what we already can say is that the hypermetal has more output and an overall well, broader sound. Let's crank the lows. Seems accurate, although the humongous distortion is much more pronounced. So let's crank the highs. You can actually see two high peaks. With 5k, 4, 5k, and on the humongous it's 5 to 6k. Now mid should be the other. 1k, also a bit higher than on the original HM3. But close. Different yet close. Let's see if distortion somehow the same effect. Okay, so now let's find out how both pedals actually sound.
So what do you think? Do you prefer the hyper sound of the humongous distortion or do you prefer the original? Or do you think both are equally awesome and you should buy both or keep both? I would keep both. Let me know down in the comment section. And if you want to support this channel, you might want to consider becoming a YouTube member and you could check out the links in the description. And with that being said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. May the power protect you and have a nice day.